at 118 and three quarters. Winning 28 out of 29, 21 by knockout. The pride of Pomona, the superfly, Alberto Sandoval. And his opponent on my right, out of the white corner, blue velvet trunks from Mexico City, Distrito Federal. Weighing 119 and a quarter. Winning all of his wins by knockout. Winning 28 out of 30. The former Bantamweight champion of the world, Alfonso Zamora. 23 years old, you see, for Zamora. Alberto Sandoval, as we mentioned, will be 23 at midnight tonight. He'll be 23 years old tomorrow. Sandoval, screen right. Zamora, screen left. Okay, you've had the instructions already. Is there any questions? Okay. Sandoval. All right, let's shake hands, Zamora. Shake hands. For this fight was 119 and one quarter, and Zamora, screen left, hit the 119 and a quarter, right on the nose. His first trip to the scales. Alfonso Zamora's first fight ever here at the Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles. He is in blue trunks. He is the former bantamweight champion of the world. Zamora, as we say, 118 and three quarters. He is 5-3. He has a record, 28 wins, two losses. All 28 wins by knockout. 23 of the 28 wins by Zamora have been knockouts in less than three rounds. Alberto Sandoval in white. Meanwhile, he's uh, about an inch and a half taller at five, four and a half. Sandoval, 28 wins, only one loss, and as we said at the top, the one loss was a fluke. His opponent, Eliseo Cosme, could not continue because of the cut eye, but because of the butt rule technicality, Cosme was given the win. Sandoval, 28 wins, one loss, 23 of the 20, 21 of the 28 wins by knockout. 16 of those 21 knockouts by Sandoval in less than three rounds. The strategy of this fight, very, very obvious. Alberto Sandoval, if he beats the ex-champion Zamora tonight, will get a title shot against WBA champion Jorge Lujan in his next out. So it is a very important fight for Sandoval. Zamora, one of the hardest hitters in the history of the Bantamweight division. Well, he said 28 fights, all 28 by knockout. Sandoval has said, I'm not worried about his punch after a few rounds. I'm going to try to stay out of his way and then go after him maybe after three or four rounds. So Sandoval early wants to box Zamora. Sandoval has very fast hands, very lethal hands himself, but he is not thinking early KO. Zamora obviously is thinking early KO. Sandoval is a 10 to 6 ringside favorite here, almost 2 to 1. So it is felt this fight is scheduled for 10. If it is to end early, that is the first three rounds, Zamora will win by knockout. If it goes five, six rounds, it will be Sandoval. If it goes the full 10, it will be Sandoval coming on to win the decision. One minute left, round one. You see Sandoval's strategy, he's not worried. Letting Zamora force the fight, maybe win a 10 round round. Just wants to stay out of trouble, early. Alberto Sandoval from Pomona, California, about 30 miles northeast of Los Angeles. American born, his opponent, Zamora from Mexico City. And you'll hear the chant in the background from time to time, he just died down, Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. That chant for Zamora. corner of your screen at the end of every round final 15 seconds director Bill Zach will count them down for you round one uh, white trunk Alberto Sandoval in blue Alfonso Zamora nobody down scheduled for 10 Zamora might have had a narrow edge might have won that first round 10 points to 9 California scoring system most of the rest of the boxing world to the 10 must system you must give it a winner of around 10 points to lose anywhere from 9 on down most rounds are 10 to 9 even round 10 points apiece maybe Zamora won the first round on aggressiveness 10 9 but that's just the way Sandoval planned it he wants to box Zamora keep him away while he's dangerous in the early rounds then turn it on himself they have had two common opponents Socrates Bototo 
Zamora knocked him out in two. Sandoval knocked him out in two. Their other common opponent, Young Casanova. Zamora knocked Casanova out in six. Sandoval knocked him out in three. Jim Healy, ringside of the Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles, California. It's four downstairs. It's four upstairs. They turned away 5,000 people tonight. 5,000 people outside could not get in. Every inch filled here in the historic Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles, California. Another awesome show, and this fight is a can't miss it. Stage by promoter Eileen Eaton, along with matchmaker Don Charter. This fight, a can't miss thriller. Sandoval is ready to go. A right to the chin almost knocked him down. One minute and 25 seconds left. Now, one minute and 20 seconds. Sandoval, the right to the chin left him dazed. He should be holding on. Does he know where he is? A lot of time for Zamora. Sandoval, a right of his own, but he should not be trading. Sandoval should be hanging on, running. Exactly one minute left in round two. Sandoval took a right hand flush on the chin from one of the hardest punchers in the history of the Bantamweight division. He did not go down. But Sandoval may not be quite sure where he is now. He should not be slugging with Zamora. Exactly 30 seconds left, round two. Now Sandoval seems to be coming out of it. He's keeping his distance. He's jabbing. He's pushing Zamora off. Another right hand and a right uppercut. Two of them across for the uppercut. Four left corner of your screen. Time remaining, round two. Firecrackers set off by Zamora's rooters in the background. This may be Zamora's big chance. And he didn't do it. Here he is, Alberto Sandoval. Let's take a look at that right hand by Zamora. Sandoval is back here, the white trunks. We're waiting for the right hand by Zamora. Zamora apparently has already hurt Sandoval as we pick up the action here. Yes, we missed it there. Sandoval had already been hit the right hand. Actually, he was staggered twice in the round. Early in the round from a right cross, flesh on the chin. Then late in the round, Sandoval was hit a right cross and a moment later a right uppercut that stunned him again. White trunked Alberto Sandoval twice. He was hurt badly in round two, but nobody has gone down so far in the fight. It is scheduled for 10. Blue trunked Alfonso Zamora, the former world battleweight champion, off to an early lead. Probably won the first round, won the second round big. Probably 10 points to eight. Twice in the second round, Zamora hurt. Sandoval early in the round with a right cross to the chin, late in the round with a right cross, and then with a right uppercut. But Sandoval kept his feet. This fight was three times postponed over a period of time. And hang on, he's a goner. Two full minutes, two full minutes left. Sandoval is in terrible shape. Sandoval is doing what he said he would. condition is keeping Sandoval on his feet. And Hart. Left hook 
Smith almost drops on the ball. Exactly one minute left, 60 seconds, round three. This is incredible that Sandoval has not gone down in the fight. A right to the chin again by Zamora, and a left to the chin by Zamora. you just saw is Alberto Sandoval, White Trunks, who has taken such a savage beating in the last two rounds from the former world bantamweight champion. This is incredible. Sandoval has not him down yet. He has been hit punches, enough good punches to knock him out, not just down ten times. Round number four, scheduled for ten, no knockout. Two minutes left. Round four. Now this was Sandoval's game plan. He said, if I can weather three rounds, I can go after the other guy. He figures to wear down. Well, that was his plan. We'll see if that happens. Sandoval in simply awesome condition for this fight or he'd be long gone. Condition is what puts the strength in the legs when the brain says, you can hit him with chin, get down, the legs say no. Jim Healy, ringside at the Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles, California, and this certainly, we've only gone three and two-thirds rounds exactly in round four. This is certainly the fight of the year at the Olympics so far with more to come. Zamora seemed to win the first round narrowly. He won the second and third rounds big. But every round that Sandoval stays on his feet, survives, his chances get better. If you are pulling for Alberto Sandoval, do not despair. This fight comes along to the sixth and seventh rounds. It may turn completely around where Zamora is fighting for his life. Lower left corner of your screen, time remaining in round number four. Zamora in blue, in case you're away, uh, between rounds uh, showed the first signs of fatigue. He's got the start of a little mouse under his right eye. And white drunk Alberto Sandoval. Meanwhile, neither fighter's been down, but Sandoval took a terrible beating in the second and third rounds. Sandoval came back better in the fourth. 
uh, may have lost the round narrowly, but Sandoval, as this fight goes on, his chances look better the farther it goes. Sandoval probably will get stronger. Zamora probably will get weaker. Round number five scheduled for ten. to the chin by Sandoval. He still should be a no. A right shot to the chin by Sandoval. Well, they call matchmaker Don Shargan a war a week. He's put on the war of the year here. And that little swelling under the right eye. No big deal now of Zamora. Gets a little larger. Only problem with a swelling under the eye. It might swell up and eventually obscure your vision. But the serious cuts, of course, are in the lid above the eye. That, that's the serious part. Under the eye, not usually a problem. Is Alfonso Zamora starting to run out of gas in round five? with a left jab and it popped his head back he's getting wild Sandoval jabbing away letting Zamora run out of gas with one minute left in round five this fight this round has been the turnaround unless Zamora oh Zamora's right back he's ready to go did you see the delayed buckling of the knees Zamora is ready to go even if he doesn't go in this round, the fight has turned completely around now. Alberto Sandoval would seem to be a big favorite unless he catches a punch. 30 seconds left in this final round's closing second. Zamora tiredly hangs on, clutches. This may be Zamora's last burst, the final 10 seconds, hoping he land, he buckles again, just for the left jab. Zamora is buckling from jabs, that's round five. <laughs> Alfonso Zamora comes out and uh, boy, time is working against him. Nobody down in the fight, Zamora gave Alberto Sandoval a terrible beating in the second and third round. Zamora apparently well ahead on points as we start the second half of this 10-rounder. And Alfa, Alberto Sandoval, the right trust, definitely in command right now. Zamora's legs are buckling, they're going. Zamora, barring a miracle punch, has had it. Alfonso Zamora, the former world champion, has had it, barring the miracle lucky punch. fifth round may have been the first round in the fight that Sandoval won, but I don't think the score matters. I hardly think this fight is going to go ten rounds. Two minutes left, round six. There's probably one chance in five Zamora will knock Sandoval out. There are four chances in five Sandoval will knock Zamora out. right now shape than Zamora. Don't forget the terrible, savage punches he took in the second and third round. They will take it out of you, those punches that you took later on in the fight. You will feel those punches. They'll take it out of your legs later. They will take it out of your own punches. Exactly one minute left, six rounds. Coming back, son. 
Sandoval, it seemed in command, starting the sixth round. But Zamora is having a good round. Sandoval dances away, buying a little time. Time remaining, round six, scheduled for ten. Alberto Sandoval appeared at the start of their sixth round as if he would come on and start to seal the fight away. Instead, Zamora has come back with a big round. Sandoval was breathing heavily in his corner. He's in white before this seventh round. Schedule 410. Nobody has been down. Sandoval took a terrible beating. Now, Zamora lurches backward from just a mile left hook. Sandoval took a terrible beating in rounds number two and number three. He seemed to have turned the fight around. Sandoval, when he won the fifth round, he seemed on his way to victory to taking Zamora out of there. But Zamora came back with a big round in the sixth. Zamora, I would imagine, is far ahead on points as we come to this seventh round. Nobody down. Now Zamora's left hook was picked off in the right glove of Sandoval, but it still buckles Sandoval. Zamora's eyes are puffing. He's really puffing now under that left eye. Left hook tore through Sandoval's glove right onto his chin. Round seven. John the ball just butt uh, butted by that. I mean, butted, pushed shoulder to shoulder, and Zamora fell backwards off balance. Pops Zamora's head back and he lurched. He lurched backwards. Zamora bruising around the eyes, especially the right eye, swelling. But the savage pounding sound of all truck in the second and third rounds. It is remarkable. He is still on his feet. Exactly one minute left, round seven. Boy, that right eye of Zamora is really puffing now, under and above, and I don't think he has full vision. Zamora out of his right eye. So we might look for the left hook of Sandoval to come in there. Zamora might not see it coming all the way, the left hand with that swollen right eye. Seconds, 30 seconds. Blood coming, maybe from Zamora's mouth. From his nose for sure. Zamora is still very dangerous. Alfonso Zamora with the puffing under and over the right eye and probably doesn't have 100% vision. He is in blue. Alberto Sandoval in white. Zamora apparently well ahead on points. That, of course, an unofficial opinion. Zamora gave uh, Sandoval a terrible beating. In case you the long way in the second and third rounds, gave Sandoval a terrible beating. But Sandoval has not been down. Neither fighters come down. Sandoval apparently, when he won the fifth round, it turned the fight around. But no, Zamora came on to win the sixth big. Sandoval maybe an arrow edge in the seventh. It felt the longer it goes. Zamora was lurching around on dead legs at the end of the the longer it goes, the better sound of all his chances. Zamora's legs showing signs of betraying him. Two minutes left, round eight. How's 
Zamora is trying to buy time and Sandoval realizes it. In other words, if Sandoval were to win these final three rounds by one point, most rounds you ten nine rounds, Zamora would probably still win the fight. So Sandoval's got to go for the knock out or knock down. Zamora is trying to coast here through round eight. Sandoval is going to have to go after him. Sandoval is the one who's behind, has to take the chances. Two or three times Sandoval has missed with that Sunday right hand, that home run ball. It's gone just a shade off its mark, a little too high. over three postponements over two months before tonight. Zamora not training. The rumors after he got to town a week and a half ago, Zamora may not be in good shape. Those rumors were wrong. They're both in tremendous condition. did not bother to count. The bell cannot save a fighter. He must beat the count of 10. Here's Jimmy Lennon with the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. Two minutes, 59 seconds in round number eight. Referee John Thomas in charge, stopping the bout. Winner by knockout, former world champion, Alfonso Zamora. The first knockdown of the fight was the knockout, Alberto Sandoval. First time he had ever lost, aside from a technical decision. He is knocked out with one second left in the eighth round. And I will repeat again, the bell cannot save you. You must still beat the count of 10, even though the bell is rung. When Sandoval went down, a left hook started all the trouble. As we watch it again, the referee didn't even bother to count. He said, it's all over. Sandoval has been not, watch him lurch. Sandoval is ready to go. Left hand, right hand, right misses. Right hand to Sandoval's left ear, another left to the chin. Sandoval is helpless. Right hand puts him down, left hand misses. Referee Thomas has stopped the fight. It's all over, he says. Alberto Sandoval, those legs held him up through the savage beating second and third rounds. He was not about to get up. Sandoval's screen left is now on a stool in Samora's corner. They didn't even try to take him to his own corner. The fight of the year, the fight of many years here at the Olympic Auditorium, knockout with one second left in the eighth round, the former world bantamweight champion, Alfonso Zamora.